please be careful in this heat. So I was with a um, a client, and we were doing a ins well. There was an inspector because the client is putting the house on the contract, and the inspector he was outside in the heat and it was hot. So me and the client was inside the house, and, the, and it was man, they had the AC blaring. It was kind of cold in the house, but outside you got this Texas heat like a hundred degrees. And um, the the inspector came back inside and he was like, <sighs> so the client was like, hot out there? The guy, the inspector didn't answer him. He, <sighs> and he went over to the sink and he turned the sink on, ran the water over his head. And after he dried himself with a towel, he finally answered the client and was like, yes. It's hot out there. And, dude, he still had to handle the roof. But thankfully, I, I was telling a story about how I showed a house in, um, I think it was Conroe. And the client showed up and the guy was drenched. Like, his head was like like somebody poured a bucket of water on him. I'm like, dude, what, what do you do? He like, you know, I... I um, I'm an insurance adjuster and I get on the roof and he was like, you know, down here, it's like a hundred degrees, but on that roof is 130 degrees. So I told that, I was just sharing about that. And the inspector was like, well, that's why I got this. And he pulled out a, um, a bag and he, he, what he had inside the bag was a drone and the drone's a little bit bigger than, than my hand. And that's what he, so thankfully he didn't have to get on the roof. But just being outside in that heat, man, it ain't no punk. You 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 really please hydrate. Try to do your work in an early morning if you can. And I know the money's good. Uh, take care of yourself, please.